So it's an actual clam tent, John. Yeah, yeah, it's a screen tent. So like, they make a bunch of different sizes. I got a smaller one too, but you can you can camp in them. They got walls in them. A lot of people use them for like, you know, even like outside their campers, oh, like tailgating and stuff. This guy's want to open up a wall. Just get some crossbreeds, you know. Yeah, this new quick set pavilion. I used to have the old one. The old one was nice too. But the old one, like the walls were all separate and you'd have to put them on. This one, everything's zipped in. It's, yeah, it's easy. So it's going to be like 85 degrees today. So we're just going to zip all these walls up so we get a nice cross breeze. And then it's supposed to be like 58 degrees tonight. So we'll put them down when we're cozy in there sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> this pavilion is freaking giant so nice too because no bugs can get in and it can stay nice and cool during the day fully waterproof on the walls and the roof two minutes and it's up i know i was gonna say we should have set a timer and see how, see how fast we could do it <laughs> steph and i are like not experienced or good campers by any not means and we've put up i don't know how many just small tents yeah. and it takes a long time because you got to put the poles together and whatever this is just like setting up a hub style fish house literally everything already comes attached you lay it out unfold it boom pop a wall up 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 we're gonna deck it out with a little flooring it comes with a flooring but we're gonna deck it out with a, another carpet and maybe a bed and a mini fridge this is gonna be glamping in the tent pretty much All right, we got these bad boys all staked down. We got some big trees for some wind protection and some shade. Steph found some old carpet in our garage because she likes the feeling on her tootsies. Yeah, absolutely. And we're gonna blow up this ginormous air mattress in here and create this tent into a home. <laughs> Steph got this air mattress on Amazon, so we'll see how it goes. There was some good deals on it, so that's how you know it could be a little sketchy. <laughs> We set up a smaller quick set over there. That's where we're gonna make drinks, put the mini fridge, just kind of keep all our food and stuff. And then here, Steph's got the bed dialed in. We put some rope lights up. Well, they might be able, they're going to try and both pull on that side and see if they can at least shimmy it enough, just a little bit. Because it's not far off. The goal there is to see you don't have the mud between your toes. <laughs> it's more of a filter <laughs> than they are water. It looks better. A little better it's but a little bit, but it's, it's I don't think right. that tire's coming up high enough, but I, I don't know how you're going to get it that high unless you lift it all out of the water. Rob, are the keys in the tower or no? Like that, because What's happening? Bobby. A puppy? Yeah, Bobby. What's that? Just Nintendo. Hi. You going? 
swimming? Hi. Yes. That's over three. Yes. Okay, so that's where I want to fish, and that's where <laughs> somebody moved in right on my spot. Look at those guys. They literally weren't fishing this yesterday, but they definitely saw me fishing it, and now they're just in there. Hunkered down. Hunkered down right on my spot. Look at them. Little Brought their whole family. Don't, don't, come and get your oh. That was a freaking hell of a hook set. He would have got jacked to the moon. He just literally flown. I jumped with that one. I got excited. <laughs> I, jumped. I jumped with that one. Freaking crow hopped it. No! You're lying. The sun is still kind of up and we're hitting the hay. I'm tired. <laughs> a lot of time outside. It feels like 11 o'clock at night and it's only 9.30. I know. <laughs> the screen tent's looking so awesome. It's so cozy. We're going to wake up the sun rises right here over the lake and we're going to wake up to the lake. I don't even think we're going to put the walls down. We're going to probably just leave the screen here just to get some extra breeze. The rope light is a huge plus. Yeah, nice. Bedtime, eh? I don't know about Steph, but I slept freaking awesome. <laughs> we went to bed so early last night. We went to bed probably at like 9.30. It was like just getting dark. That was right when we went to bed. It was like last light, but we were tired, you know, outside all day. We did everything with setup. It was our day for the meal. So Steph did a bunch of um, uh, bouncing around, getting the sloppy joes out. And then we were back in the ranger up, putting in all the docks, putting in all the boats. We were just getting a lot of things done so everybody's boats in now the docks are all in now we're ready to just relax fish and obviously camp so all right game one of cribbage yesterday we played and i beat steph three games in a row mm -hmm. <laughs> she had to go into town and buy us ice yeah. we need more ice today so this two out of three will also be for ice and right now it looks neck and neck but if you look close it's really not mm -hmm. Liam, you're already on the dock. No bites? No bites, bites yet? Some bites. What were you throwing? Um, I was throwing crappie bait. A little crappie bait, okay. 
Oh, rickety. That's where we put our boat at. This dock stays in over the winter, I think. And it's nice, it kind of <laughs> breaks and falls here, but I just basically drive right up on the dock, wrapped her down, and old rickety. It's perfect for us. Oh, I probably should put on a white or a more natural colored frog, but we'll try the black. It don't matter what we do during the day, you gotta take a few casts off the dock in the morning. We're heading out on an adventure. We're just gonna roll through some fields just down this gravel driveway here. We're loaded up with the Funyun twins. And what did we find earlier today? Some wild raspberries on the yes. side of the road. So we're gonna go pick some raspberries, maybe for some ice cream later. Yes, we've got some cups. We're gonna fill them up with the raspberries that are hopefully big enough to eat. And yeah, are you excited? We're going yeah. on an adventure for the wild yeah, raspberry. Yeah, we're just gonna go nice and slow, probably like five miles an hour because the key is not speed. The key is to go slow so we can identify these Where little patches of wild raspberries growing just on the edge of this field. Little disclaimer, whenever we do actually go for a ride, the kids are wearing helmets, but we're just going right on this field edge here on Steph's grandparents' land. Steph's grandparents got these cool little trails on their land through the woods. We've got a hit. Bingo. Good eye. Go help me. I got you. They're little ones. They're little. But they're still as long as they're red. They are still delicious. They need to grow a little bit. They're kind of even some down into there. Yeah, but they're not small. I know, they're still a little small. So I had um, the Cheetos. Yeah. <laughs> they dipped over. Yeah. That one. Good pick. Conditions today have been kind of overcast. Some rain. On, some light sprinkles. It's good though. It's been pretty dry up here up north. They need some rain. Uh-oh, the two are loaded up. Should we keep cruising to see if we can find more? Yeah. All right, we found another patch. Steph the Great. She's got an eye like an eagle. And it's burnt for my ear. It's bent. There's some good ones back there, Is there some good ones back? Oh, there's actually, yeah, some nice ones back there. That's why I always wear pants. <laughs> Very pretty. This is another big patch. This one could be red. He's kind of red. I'm bit by so many mosquitoes. Hurry, Sam. Oh my God. Can you get Sam? They're on the side of the road. Look at this big patch down in here. Look at all these raspberries. Look at the big one over there. Right here? So I could eat it. Eat it. Eat it up. Right on. Hey. Nice job. I try to pick that one. <laughs> They're still a little young and probably a week or so they'd be real good to go. But they're still fun to find and pick. Good eye though, finding them right at the end. I do not need help opening the door. Hey, I didn't need help. Because now we're going to slope around. 
Yeah. Put me a couple on here, Steffi. That is sweet. Bingo. Fresh raspberries and ice cream. You want some raspberries? And it's birthday cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It is birthday cake kind. Do you want raspberries? Move ahead, move ahead, oh my pretty babe. 